Hello and welcome to Friday. Today, um, I'm I'm going back to a few days ago when Sony put out a new state of play. So I'm gonna do my reactions uh, for state of play, September twenty twenty four. I think I know nothing about what is coming out of this. Let's give it a shit look. I love Astrobot. He's so cute. I gotta get that game. Is that Star Wars? Wait. Oh, it is. It's DLC. Oh, that's cool. I honestly have seen nothing about this game except for like its initial trailer, so I have no idea how, if any of this is new. <laughs> oh, those are... Mm, the dudes from the... Bug game. Hi everyone, I'm Nicholas Dick, studio head at Sinosobi. We couldn't be happier with the reception to Astrobot and to see how much joy Astrobot I've heard it's phenomenal. All around the world. I wish I could try it for myself Thank right now. So now we still have a few surprises up our sleeves. Today's trailer was a sneak peek at the DLC we released later this year at no additional cost. We'll have more to share soon. But for now, you gotta love free DLC. State of play. Cute. What is this? Sorry for the creators of Lost in Me. There was a monster in the woods. This looks wild. What the frick is? Something, something, Coraline, something, something, Tim Burton. Something, something, creepy claymation. Very nice. Cute in the most creepy way, the little the flame dude. That looks intriguing. I don't remember when it happened, but I remember how I felt. Father told us to hide when we came to our house. Then they took him away. War. Mother said I couldn't play outside anymore. War never changes. Everyone had said. They said the country was sick. Is this a zombie game? Be okay. Mother always said monsters didn't exist. I thought they lived under my bed. We were both wrong. They lived inside um, our heads. E 
<laughs> this spot's not looking too well. This is weird. Wait, is this... This isn't... Uh, what's the Kuchiba game? No, it's not Death Stranding 2. Or is it? Hell is... US? Us. Okay, how is us? Feel like I missed the part where they showed gameplay. My story is a tale of rule pre written by nuclear fire. I've heard that these games are really good. Oh, that is a VR game. It doesn't. I don't know anything about this tragedy. This looks pretty badass. Chronicles. Why does this also just seem like an MMO to me? Oh, hi, Pow World. I heard you're having a good time. The long boy. NPCs? I didn't realize there were NPCs in Pal World.
Oh, it's just Pal World on PlayStation. Okay. For that new look at Pal World, an incredible open world survival game that's launching today on the PlayStation 5 console. We have a few more games with breaking news today. Starting with the return of two beloved RPGs from the original PlayStation. Oh my gosh, that's Pokemon. Your dreams, magical thoughts, all things are real unless you dream they're not. In your dreams, love is the plot carried on wings of gold. Lunar Remastered Collection brings together Lunar, the Silver Star Story Complete, and Lunar 2, Eternal Blue Complete, with updated visuals widescreen mode and more is this updated i think i need a side by side Lunar Remastered Collection comes to PS5 and PS4 i've in spring never heard of this game two updates on teenage mutant ninja turtles shredder's revenge first the radical reptiles dlc which adds mondo gecko and mona lisa as playable characters <sighs> And for no extra cost, a remixed in-game soundtrack featuring some amazing guest composers. That's dope. Both of these updates arrive later today. Tupa. No. Shadow. And yes, you heard right. Keanu Reeves is joining Sonic X Shadow Generations as part of the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie cast. This what? update is inspired by scenes from the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie and arrives December 12th. That's the Sonic funny. The Hedgehog 3 movie pack is included in the Digital Deluxe Edition, which lets you play the game three days ahead of its October 25th release date. So then this is like Shadow the Hedgehog the movie, right? The, the movie... I, I, the movie the game hello state of play i'm sakaguchi a producer of fantasy and neo tomato the tezukuri no jordan was cut the fantasy and so stay random encounter to me to eat penny cut up at the skill no kid also such that to can she got to me more she also more to me Final Fantasy series de Tomoya and Dekita Luna Sans. So does that mean it's inspired by the Bravely Default system? Looks pretty. Oh, we've seen this before. I think this was that was shown off from the release of the Nintendo Direct. Let's check in with Bioware and Electronic Arts for an extended look at its climactic battle. We've gotten word from the warden. Have they found Gilanade? Not yet, but they found something else worth killing. One of her blighted dragons. Wow. Rook, you made it. Good. Wouldn't miss it. We have unfinished business with that dragon. We've tracked it to a ruined tower nearby. That lair is a death trap. We need to lure her out to have any chance. Can we challenge her? Draw the dragon out into the open, then attack. Just you and me now. Why do I feel like this is like D and D? Get ready. E. Dargan. Promises were made and kept.
Nice gameplay demo. Wait, how much damage are you doing, dude? Ah. Said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that 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 seems appropriate. Gross. Why is it always tentacles? Oh, it's the Dragon Age game. Okay. This isn't the Bureau's first time in Bright Falls. The SBC's research department set up Remember the games. The lake house. If I had any clue what was waiting for us in there, I would have just kept on driving. Jesus. I don't think it's a friendly place in there. Yo. Oh, it's an expansion. Is PSG VR two? <laughs> Just is this hip man? It is interesting. If you know the truth, I stood with Cain and 
my brethren. It's Pokemon. Is this a remake? Or a remaster? What madness is this? This looks like it was an old game. Am I so this is definitely a remaster. Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver. What is your remaster? Legacy okay. of Cain Soul Reaver 1 and 2 remastered arrives December 10th, celebrating the 25th anniversary of the first game's release. 25 years and you could you can't remake it? The original PlayStation era also inspired Fear the Spotlight from Blumhouse Games. It brings atmospheric polygonal scares to PS5 and PS4 on October 22nd. Interesting. Last, we've returned to our ancestral land, Gaspar. Build villages and nurture vast ecosystems in Towers of Agazba. Great. This colorful world includes unique creatures, a peculiar cast of characters, <laughs> and also allows you to invite other players to visit your island. When was the last time we saw this? Early access this November. Up next, Epic Games brings a split screen mode to Lego Fortnite this October. This feature enables friends and family to explore the world and build villages together while playing on the same PS5 or PS4. That's an odd way to do it. And in other Fortnite news, the new Fortnite Limited Edition DualSense wireless controller arrives later this year with pre orders starting October 3rd. Okay. Visit PlayStation blog for more details. Where are we dropping, boys? Next, it's PlayStation 5. 1000 in Dynasty Warriors Origins. And mm. Koei Tecmo Games is ready to share the release date. Let's take a look. Guardian of Peace. You have crossed paths with men who may one day bring about order. Until then, you must adapt to the chaos. And find a way to survive. So choose your path wisely. Go forth and learn what it means to be a hero. You claim to strive for justice, but have no way to achieve it. Tearing down the system without providing an alternative is mere wanton destruction. I mean, I played Hyrule Warriors. I played Fire Emblem Warriors. I th I got an idea for the gameplay. Never played a Dynasty Warriors. Funnily enough. All that remains is to see this through. Oh, it's Monster Hunter. Well, Captain, what's your team been 
you getting up to? The guild gave special assignments to some of the other units from the expedition. Mine included. <laughs> this forest is amazing. My fur isn't built for this kind of weather. Chill checks the A. From Dungeon Meshi. This is its territory. We're in Jeez, this looks crazy. That is one fat fish. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, there's fishing. And not dogs. That would be admitting defeat. Well, for a second, I thought you were playing as a Palico. I love the Monster Hunter monster names. I mean, if it's there, it's not a stint of war. That's a hundred dollars in Canada. <laughs> I hate how Capcom caps off these. Hmm. Trailers. Hello.世界で配信されるに決定いたしました。本日より順次予約を開始しますので、ぜひご予約いただければと思います。プレイステーションストアでご予約いただける。デジタルミニアートブックをご用意します。9月26日の23時からはTGS2024カプコンオンラインプログラ
and Aloy has more good news on the horizon. Aloy's original adventure, Horizon Zero Dawn, is being remastered for PS5 and PC by Gorilla and Nixes. Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered includes more than 10 hours of re-recorded conversation mocap and countless graphical improvements that bring the game Oh yeah, that does look so much better. As Horizon Forbidden West. This new version of Horizon Zero Dawn will arrive October 31st. And anyone who owns the original PS4 version of the game will be able to upgrade to the new PS5 version for $9.99. Visit PlayStation Blog for more details and watch the full trailer to see all the enhancements I... to the epic quest. I get it makes sense. New content is on the way to the action-packed world of Stellar. But Blade. I, I, I hate the ten dollar upgrade. With your choice of poses, expressions, and filters. That's cute. Original soundtrack featuring over oh, Stellar Blade was in the, game the big Astrobot thing. Starting today. Oh, please don't be long Not enough all. to claim me. <laughs> This isn't near what I was expecting. In the Stellar Blade and Near Automata collaboration, coming to Stellar Blade later this year. Ugh. Love that music. I need to finish that game. Now let's talk about what's ahead for PlayStation Plus. First, your monthly games for October are WWE 2K24, Dead Space, and Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. These will be available to all PlayStation Plus members starting October 1st. Meanwhile, our library of PlayStation Classics continues to grow, with two more fan favorites from the original PlayStation arriving later this year, Blood Omen Legacy of Pain and Capcom's Dino Crisis. Naughty Dog fans know September 26th is The Last of Us Day, and we're celebrating by adding the critically acclaimed PS5 hit, The Last of Us Part 1, to the PlayStation Plus game catalog this Thursday. It's a good controller ad. I like the first one better. I like that one. That one's a pretty good one. Makes me think of Green Goblin. Ooh, shiny. Face plates as well. Okay. Hi everyone. I'm Mark. It's not Spider-Man. We recently revealed the newest addition to the PlayStation 5 family, PS5 Pro. Yeah, one of the dumbest things ever. <laughs> showcasing the superior frame rates and improved graphics that the new console makes possible. With PS5 Pro, developers have access to three key improvements: an upgraded GPU, my genuine thoughts. On who the PS5 Pro is for. Sony Super Mega Fanboys. And graphics hose. It's not worth the price. In Canada, it's thousand dollars. I do not have the TV for you to show this off.
I kind of want to play this game again. Spider-Man 2. I'm assuming this is the one more thing. I think I got spoiled on this. We are beyond the edge of Japan. People come north to disappear. Oh, is this the Oh my goodness. But you It's the Sinnoh region. It's like the Shinto region of Japan. And now, yeah, you are well. Every room in here is after you. Still think you're the hunter. This isn't Jin Sakai, is it? I mean, if you played the first one, that game spoke for itself. Ooh. Goodness, this this game is going to be gorgeous. Oh yeah, this is definitely not Jin. That's a lady. Do you get a puppy friend? Tell me you get a puppy friend. Ghost of your tail. Gun. Okay. That looks incredible. Not too shabby. Nothing I'm like overtly hyped for. I think the Ghost of Yote would have been like peak hype if I wasn't spoiled beforehand but yeah that's um that's that's the state of play <laughs> I also got like some mail today um but I'll show that off tomorrow There's a part of me that really wants to get that Horizon Zero Dawn remaster. But there's another part of me that's just like, no, you literally bought it last generation. I don't know. Go see your tape. Looks great. Anyways, that's going to be it for today. So as always, I will see you tomorrow.